Hey Gary, my name is Paul. I'm with Eastwind SEO and I have partnered up with Royal Elevation to bring you this video. You spoke with Nathan earlier about this video. I'm going to show you some tips on how to improve your online presence by use of content citations and backlinks. Let's jump right into it. I have your website pulled up right here. Um, you know, it's a great looking website. Uh, as you scroll down, I like how this follows you down the little chat bubble. What I, what can I help you with? You know, it's a great thing to have, um, on your website. You know, you have some video reviews, um, other stuff like that. So it's really well put together. Um, you know, you have some really good stuff. I do see your click to call button up there. Definitely something you want to have. Uh, other than that, you know, it's a really good looking website, right? So I will definitely touch on content here. You could definitely use some more content. And the reason for that is, uh, Google loves content. They're going to crawl your website. They're going to go through all that content. So you want to have, you know, some really good keywords within that content. We always recommend at least 1500 words of content on your homepage. And the reason for that is when Google crawls your website, it, you know, and uh, allows you to put in plenty of those buyer intent keywords. So they're going to find those keywords and those keywords are going to tell them about your business, what you do, uh, the areas you serve, the services you offer, so on and so forth. Um, it's going to help them determine where they're going to place you within the Google search results. And it's going to uh, help them, you know, determine that you are a professional in your uh, business, right? <clears throat> also, it's going to help you guys show up for more searches because you are relevant to those people's searches who are searching those keywords that are in your content. Um, so again, 1500 words of content is what we always recommend it gives you plenty of room to put that buyer intent keywords in there. Um, so from there, we're going to move on to a Google search result. And we're going to take a look at what we see. So if we put HVAC in Buffalo, New York, right? That would be an example of a keyword. So you're going to see ads show up and I can see you guys are running ads down here. Um, you know, it's great because ads are a great way to, you know, gain some clients because it allows you to target a specific audience, therefore allowing your business name to show up in front of the eyes of people that are more likely to go with your services, right? So, I mean, I'm sure as you guys know, you can definitely see some good results from running a good campaign. Um, as we move down, we have the organic, or not the organic, but the uh, Google Map Pack. This is going to be the top three here. <clears throat> you know, these guys see a good chunk of business just from being in this top three, and that's going to be your Google business profile. To get up in that top three, you want to have it filled out as much and as accurately as possible with all of your business information. Um, and you want to get it into as many directories as possible, online directories. That's going to be anything like Yelp or Yellow Pages, you know, even Facebook and anything like that, so on and so forth. There are hundreds and hundreds of online directories to get your name into, and you want to get citations back from that, right? So basically the goal here is to have more citations than your competitors that are showing up in this top three, and that will knock them out of there and have you guys show up in that top three. Um, so moving on down, we have the organic search results. It looks like we have a bunch of online directories that show up. Not too concerned about those. You want to try and focus on overtaking your direct competitors. So this would be an example of one. You know, um, there are a lot of things involved in overtaking you know competitors in the organic. Uh, search results, right? So we're going to look into that right now. It has a lot to do with your website, your backlinks, your content, stuff like that. So I use a tool called uh, Hrefs. Um, you know, it helps me take a look at a website, how it's performing, um, if it's my website, and, you know, it helped me draw a roadmap of how I'm going to outrank a competitor, maybe drive more traffic to my site, you know, stuff like that. Um, so we're going to take a look at these numbers up here. I have your guys's uh, website put in right here, ran through the tool. <clears throat> so we're going to look at these UR and DR, um, two numbers that you want to pay attention to. They are very important that you are being a trust rating or how trustworthy your website is. According to Google, uh, the DR being a power rating or how powerful your website is. Um, 
you know, those two numbers, you generally want to keep them within a close ratio to each other and also try to move them up as high as possible. So these have a lot to do with your backlinks, right? Your backlink profile. So a backlink is going to be anything that links back to your website from an outside source, whether it be a comment blog, uh, maybe another website about, you know, heating and cooling, stuff like that. That's the point is you want to have those referring domains pushing power back through those uh, backlinks to your website. So to do that, you want to have uh, websites link back to you that are relevant to your service industry. You don't want random websites linking back to you um, because that's going to come across as spammy in Google's eyes. Uh, you know, that could definitely throw up flags for them. It could affect your numbers. It could affect your ranking abilities within the Google search results. So a way to do this, uh, we could definitely go through a competitor. Like if, you know, you're trying to out rank these guys, you know, hey, go through their backlink profile. We can see, obviously, they have a ton going on uh, in their website, right? Their UR and DR are looking pretty good. They have a ton of backlinks. Um, they are getting a bunch of traffic, and they're being shown for a lot of keywords. Um, so we could definitely take a look at all their backlinks, right? Go through their backlinks because, you know, nine times out of ten, they're, you guys are in the same service industry, so the backlinks they have are also going to work for you as well. Go, we could go through all their backlinks, see what they have that you don't, you know, add those links onto you, go out and get those links. Um, you know, it's going to help bump those numbers up. Same thing with their organic keywords, right? Go through their keywords, see what keywords they're using. Maybe they have a combination of words that, you know, we didn't think about. Something like that. We can add them to the content, you know, adjust accordingly as we need to. Start seeing some more traffic flow come through your website because that, in the end, is what we're after, right? Gaining more business through your online presence. So, with that being said, uh, you know, 1,500 words of content on your homepage. Um, you know, this is why I stress the importance of that because that allows you to be found for, you know, searches, right? As people search for those keywords, you know, show up more often. Um, so, these are tips that you can definitely implement yourself. Um, you know, you can always reach out to us as well if you want some help or, you know, any questions. Uh, we're always here. Um, you know, and thank you for taking the time to check this video out. We really do appreciate you guys looking at it. And I hope that it was helpful for you. And have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.